Jehovah, for the union makes us strong. It is an all familiar tune. We shall never be divided. A clear signal that all is not well at public institutions of higher learning. With thousands of learners expected to resume classes later this month, the university's academic staff union has issued a seven-day notice starting Monday next week, demanding that the government honors the 2017-2021 collective bargaining agreement. We followed the beacons. You have concurred that we follow the beacons. Why can't you pay our members? Must we go on street always for CBS to be honored? The union officials argue that the CBA, which was signed on the 28th of October 2019, was to be implemented on or before the 30th of November 2019. They have a claim that the promise has not been fulfilled, lamenting the ongoing blame game between the Ministry of Education, the Salaries and Remuneration Commission, and the Inter-Public Universities Council Consultative Forum. On 28th November, October, we signed a CBA. We shook hands and we agreed that the CBA was to be implemented on or before 30th November 2019. To date, IPCCF has not told us why they have not honored part of their bargain. Instead, we are being taken round. In circles. According to Uwasu Secretary General Constantine Wesonga, the lecturers are also up in arms over the conflicting figures owed by the employer. We arrived at 13.8 billion, excluding pension component. So we are being taken aback when the same SRC is saying that the cost of the CBA is 8.8 billion. And in order to realize, among other things, our constitutional rights, we have no option but to give a notice of intention to withdraw our labor within seven days. Wesonga insists that the Salaries and Remuneration Commission had approved the CBA in its current form and vowed not to renegotiate. SRC, in their own communication on 13th December 2019, Acknowledged, and I want to quote, the Salaries and Remuneration Commission hereby confirms that the CBA copies as signed and forwarded have complied with SRC's advice on all relevant provisions. For Channel One News, I'm Safin Aching Omar.